So let's take a look at uh, a Terraform or team workflow for a single person, an individual practitioner, looking at the right step first. So you're going to be writing your Terraform configuration in your editor of choice on your computer. Um, but the thing is, you'll be storing your Terraform code in something like GitHub. Even if you are an individual user, you're going to be putting in Git or GitHub or some kind of version control system. You're going to be repeatedly running Terraform plan or even possibly Terraform validate to find syntax errors. And the great thing about this is that you get this tight feedback loop between editing the code and running your test commands because it's all on your local machine. We're not sending things off to build servers or uh, other services. So it's very uh, fast and easy. Uh, talking about the plan stage, so when the developer is confident with their workflow in the right step, they commit their code to their local repository. This is the stage where it's a local commit, it's not a remote commit. Uh, they may be only using a single branch, so just you're probably working in main, or if you're still using the old syntax, master branch. Uh, once their commit is written, they'll proceed to apply. That'll bring us to the apply stage. So they will run Terraform apply. This is on your local machine. It's not it, part of any other process. You're just running Terraform apply, and they'll be prompted to review their plan. After the review, the final review, they will approve the changes and await provisioning. After a successful provision, they will push their local commits to their remote repository. So this is where you will then finally commit your code. Uh, so there you go.